Hey, um, so this is going to be a tutorial on weaves that I got a request for. And I want to make this tutorial a pretty comprehensive, like, overview of, um, I guess, everything that weaves can do. They're probably your best, um, bet as far as transitions go because you really, if you know how to do a weave on like any part of your body and in any direction, you have a huge more, not a huge more, you have a lot more options as far as uh, getting into different tricks that you might not have been able to do before. So for example, I can be doing a backwards weave on my right hand and then you know, get it to roll on my back, or I could be doing a forwards weave in front of myself and then jump into it like this. Um, so, and as I said, they're um, really the best thing that you can use as far as um, simple transitions go. So, um, let's get started. Basically, a weave would be anything that is going to go in front or behind you or on either side of you. So uh, we'll just start with a basic forward weave. So your hand's going to be on the inside of the hoop like this, just kind of grabbing it. And then for a forward to weave, the hoop's going to come down and then cross over like this, come up, and then come back this way. So when it crosses over, my hand's going to be on the outside, and it's going to come up, and my hand's underneath, and it'll come back down again. And that is just a basic forwards weave. So this can be used in a number of different ways for transitions into things and whatever. You could jump into it. You could uh, throw it. Um, I don't know, whatever, use your imagination. But, um, so that would just be a forwards weave on your right hand, just like this. To change that, you can just stand forward and do the same thing, but have it be on the side of your body. So, my hand is on the top of the hoop, scooping down, it comes up, and then goes down like this. So just the same as in front of you, but you're just turning your body to the side. And you'll see that my arm scoops down and then comes up, and then the hoop rotates and comes behind me, and that's right up at my shoulder. So that's just one place that you can do this forward weave on the side. You can also do it down here, which gets a little bit harder. And really, this is mostly in the articulation of your wrist. So. Um, you'll see that I'm going like this and then like this. It's kind of a figure eight motion. So it can be down here, it can be up here, it can be up by your shoulder, it can be up in the air, um, all around you sideways. And then um, for reverse, you, it's basically um, you start with your hand like this and then you're going to come, oh wait, Am I doing this? Okay, I guess the easiest way to start to get into the backwards weave, if you like aren't familiar, is to start with a forwards weave, just like this, and then stall it by coming here. And then you're just going to do the same thing backwards. So my hand's going to go like this, come around, be on the underneath part of the hoop and then come forward again. And it's going to feel kind of weird the first time you get it. It took me a little bit of time to get used to it, but once you do, it feels really good. So this is your, you be standing forward and doing this in front of you. This is a backwards weave. This is how I get into doing a back roll. Um, you can also jump into it. I have a friend that likes to jump backwards and, and um, pull her hoop that way, but uh, anyway, so backwards, 
then you can stall and move forwards, whatever. Um, though again, that would be the same way if you were to be standing forwards. Am I doing this right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to question it. All right. So yeah, backwards. Again, backwards up here, backwards above your head, backwards by your hips. This is actually a lot easier than doing forwards behind your hips. So you'll see my hand is just coming like this and then going back like that. And this is also a really good uh, workout for your forearms and then also just good for your wrists too because it takes a little strength there. So um, again, the other side, it's going to be essentially the same thing. So for forwards, we're just, this is with my left hand, under like here, scooping under and scooping back this way. So you can really exaggerate and scoop under and then scoop that way if you want to. So this is forwards and then backwards, I'm going to stall and then do the opposite thing. So it's coming down like this, and then coming back like that. <clears throat> and then same thing, you just turn your body to the side and then it's coming in front of and behind you instead of on either side of you. So up here, it's just the same, essentially same thing. And um, it's in addition to being a transitional move, it's a really pretty move. Um, it's fun to dance with because you can, you know, move your arms and whatever else, and you can really move your body with it too. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, those are basic weaves, forward and backwards on two different planes, front and then on the sides. So I'll show you from the front. This is a forwards weave on my right hand. It's going to be going like this. And then backwards is like this. Um, the other thing that I would say is, um, so play around with that and then get comfortable with different timing and um, switching your grip and things like that. So. The other thing you can do is do a forwards weave with your right hand but on your left side. You can cross over and go like this. And this gets into, um, this is a, something that you need to practice if you want to do crossers for poi or hoop or whatever. And this definitely requires some stretching. But essentially I'm just doing a forwards weave just with the other hand on the other side. And you can do this on this side too. I will do that if I want to throw it, usually I'll come down or something like that. Um, but it's really just a simple move that you just really need to take time to play with. Um, however many ways you can like uh, do it around your body. The other way, um, or like another way of doing it is behind your back which this is a little tricky and it does require some stretching because you're going to be going like this. So you really want to stretch your arm over here if you're going to want to do this a lot. But basically, you just start doing a backwards weave and then you come up and I have my hands on the outside of the hoop like this. You're going to come up here and then tuck it under here and let it weave like this. So my hand ends up like this and my arms cross and then it's going to come this way and back around again and then you're up here and you can get back into your backwards weave. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's uh, behind the back. You can do it with your other hand, obviously. Um, the other thing that you can do, pumpkin, cut it out, you butthole. Okay, 
sorry. Um, the other thing that you can do is um, start with a weave in front of you like this and just keeping it up by your shoulder and then you can turn with it and come back. So you can just do a complete turn. So what I'm doing here is coming up like this and I'm turning as the hoop is going like this. Oh, I'm sorry, this is terrible. Okay, like that. So forward weave, come up, I'm gonna turn, and it's gonna come down like this. It's hard to do slow-mo, show you. And you'll kind of feel the, um, the hoop has a little bit of momentum that will make it scoop down like that. So yeah, those are a lot of different variations on the weave, on a basic one-handed weave, and um, you know, just play with them to see like how much you can do and um, experiment with switching hands. Something I know Baxter does a lot is he'll start doing a backwards weave and then he'll go like this and use two hands to do it which I could do a tutorial for that uh, sometime I'd like to, but, um, you know, maybe you guys can figure it out or whatever. So good luck. Hopefully this helped um, clear up anything that you're confused about or we're trying to learn.